My name is Patrick Watson. I'm an astrologer, and you're watching Big Fat Astro Vlog. Wow, that doesn't really work quite as well in this format. So today I'm going to be talking about Mitt Romney's chart and something cool I found out about it. Uh, if you know about Zadarko releasing from the Lot of Spirit, keep watching. If you don't, this video is probably not going to be for you, but don't worry, I'll have something easier next week. So anyways, onward with what I have found with Mitt Romney's chart. And I should stress, I'm not the only one who's necessarily uh, noticed this, but uh, I might be the first to be talking about this uh, so publicly. So anyway, you know how foreshadowing periods end up kind of showing you weird stuff that happens at the loosing of the bond? Well, yeah, basically, Mitt Romney has a really big loosing of the bond coming up, and we have a pretty good foreshadowing period for what this will be about. I figure you'll be interested since, you know, politics and stuff. And, you know, Mitt Romney is kind of a big deal. So, uh, he entered a 27-year Capricorn period back in 2001. That was when he was finishing up his stint as the manager of the uh, Winter Olympics in 2002. And uh, he announced that he was going to run for Massachusetts governor in the Cancer L3 period. So that was in the foreshadowing period of uh, this uh, Capricorn period. It was in the foreshadowing period for what would happen at the Cancer losing the bond. So what happens is he runs, he's, he announces that he's going to run for governor on March 18th, 2002. Then at the loosing of the bond on November 6th, that was literally like the night of his election night victory uh, in that race for uh, Massachusetts governor. So basically at the foreshadowing period, he announced he was running for governor and at the loosening of the bond, he won. And this little pattern is kind of a microcosm of what will happen in his life on a much larger scale. And uh, so the foreshadowing for his loosening of the bond was from August 8th, 2010 to August 27th, 2012. And the loosening of the bond will be on September 25th, 2018, uh, pardon me, and October 14th, 2020. So he has this big loosening of the bond coming up. What on earth do you think could have happened in this period from August 8th, 2010 to August 27th, 2012? Oh, I don't know. He sort of ran for president. Um, and he did run for president in 2008 as well. But the run in 2012 was the one where he actually won the primary election. Uh, so let's take a look at that. Uh, he announced that he was going to run in 2012 uh, by announcing a, an exploratory committee. And that was on April 11th of 2011. So that was really right before... Capricorn, which is the foreshadowing period for Cancer, uh, a Cancer um, upper period. And so the loosing of the bond occurred on January 18th. And this month was the month that he won the Super Tuesday contest and basically became the presumptive nominee. And in fact, he was announced the presumptive nominee on March 25th, 2012, right as he entered Aquarius. Um, you know, and Aquarius is the son of his fortune with Venus, son of Midheaven, yada, yada, yada. So, uh, literally the foreshadowing of this loosening of the bond for his 2012 run was, uh, the foreshadowing was the announcement that he was going to form an exploratory committee. And then the loosening of the bond was actually winning the contest to become the nominee, the party's nominee. Now he didn't win, uh, because... Uh, and I noticed this, noted this at the time. At, at, oh, come on. I noted this at the time uh, with uh, Chris Brennan that uh, with in this Capricorn period he has Saturn, the ruler in Leo, so that was reaching the sign of the major period, um, where the ruler of the major period is. And sorry, that was my phone. And um, he encountered an unfortunate sub period on the night of the election. Uh, this one, in fact. Sorry. Okay. This one. Uh, yeah. So November 6, 2012, that was activating, you know, his Mars and Mercury retrograde and uh, Pisces. And so, yeah, that looked kind of bad. And um, he's going to have this all happen again 
but on a much on a, on a <laughs> on either it's either going to be a really magnified version of this or there's something unusually uh there's something big <laughs> i guess you could say about this for him personally and professionally uh, given that the foreshadowing period for this Losing the Bond was his 2012 run for president, uh, you know, the primary campaign, it's tempting to uh, potentially guess that he might be doing this again in some way. And I'm actually making this video because I just saw a news item that Mitt Romney is considering running for Senate, uh, in is running to be the Utah senator and uh, for the 2018 elections. And so this would seem to kind of match up fairly nicely um, that he has this loosening of the bond right before the election. And uh, this would definitely put him back in the spotlight. Uh, what's also tempting to think about is that a, a direct repeat of what happened at the foreshadowing period would be to potentially run for president again. And this is something I thought about in 2012, but it almost seemed crazy at the time because, you know, I figured, you know, once he'd lost, that he wasn't necessarily going to be back in politics again, and that he would be in his 70s at this point. Um, but, uh, you know, things have changed in really uh, unanticipated ways. So uh, it's also tempting to think that perhaps the loosening of the bond would be a potential primary challenge to Trump in 2020, which would be kind of a more perfect mirror of what happened before um and of course uh with returning to leo the sign that he uh, had waged the 2012 general campaign in before uh, it seems to uh suggest i <laughs> well uh, it's it's hard to say ex except that uh you know he I mean, the only thing I can really say for certain about any of this is that it looks like he is going to be politically active again on a level that is comparable to what happened before. That this part of his life from 2010 through 2012 will be very similar to or repeated at what happens from September 25th, 2018 through uh, 2020. So that's what I found uh, with... Uh, Mitt Romney's child that he he has uh, this potential um, loosening of the bond that will occur around the time of the 2018 and 2020 elections which seems to reflect back on his previous uh, big political activity and uh, it seems to link back fairly nicely to his first run for governor which happened in the, in the original Capricorn uh, major period well, the first Capricorn uh, L2 period, I should say. Um, so, in a sense, his his announcement that he was going to run for governor in 2002 is analogous to his 2012 run for president, his primary victory in 2012, and then his Massachusetts governor win at the loosing of the bond in cancer is going to be analogous to whatever happens in this period here, September 25th, 2018 to October 14th, 2020. And, uh, that's, that's all I, <laughs> that's all I got, uh, for right now. Um, pretty weird though, right? I mean, who would have thought that uh, Mitt Romney would be politically active, you know, after, you know, the defeat in uh, 2012? But it looks like he will be coming back to some sort of political prominence and and be very politically active in that time. So that's sort of my prediction for Mitt Romney. Um, so, yeah. Uh, by the way, this is uh, Delphic Oracle. Uh, it's a really cool program by Curtis Manwaring. Uh, it's It was designed specifically to do Hellenistic uh, techniques, so you should check out his website, astrologyxfiles.com. There's uh, hyphens between uh, X and files and astrology and X. Just type in astrologyxfiles, you'll find it. Delphic Oracle, everyone. <laughs>